Hello! Welcome back! In this video I'll show you a perfected version of the offset bunker with none of the weaknesses of the standard one. Now towards the end of the video there's gonna be a rust building riddle and the first commenter to answer correctly gets these skins for free. But first I want to invite you, if you enjoy rust as a solo, duo or trio, to come join me at Enjoy Rust, where we have some of the best EU community servers. And I say us because I'm a member of the extremely active admin team. In fact, here's a clip of me catching the world's most incompetent cheater a wipe ago. Enjoy Rust. Link in the description. Now about those bunkers. So recently, YouTuber Sven has released a video beautifully explaining the offset bunker, which was originally discovered by Mr. Dutch Laws. Link to the video in the description. This mechanism allows you to create beautiful designs such as this one, for example. Sneaky little hobbit says, truly an incredible trick, but there are some problems with it in its original form. To make it easier to understand, first a quick rundown of the original technique. Let's say you have this base set up, and you want this here to be an offset bunker. So from here you add a twig triangle and a square. Then from the side of the square, I think it's 15 triangles out. And finally a square here aligned with the first one. Now remove all excess twig and build back with squares until you touch the base. Next you add two half walls here, and this is very important, place a triangle from this position. This guarantees it'll attach to the half walls, which is important if you want it to work. Then move here and place a triangle frame from this position, same reason. At this point you can close the bunker, and whenever you need it opened, do this. Of course it can be a double bunker also. Or it can be a square instead of a triangle, it's all the same. Not only that, but you can actually bunker up multiple levels of your base. See, you can have this bunker here, but if you build up like this, making sure to correctly align the triangle and the frame. The same mechanism will now open both bunkers at once. And you can keep going up with it, up to a point. And that, in a nutshell, is the, let's call it, traditional offset bunker. Now let's examine the shortcomings attending this method and do a side-by-side -side comparison with the improved method that I use. So, in the original version you don't have this foundation. It cannot be placed. This means lower stability for the base and cheaper foundation rating. And furthermore, this square really needs protection, as destroying it opens your bunkers. Also, depending on design and how exactly you got rated, you may not be able to rebuild. But with the improved method, you get to keep the triangle, which means better stability and a stronger base, and this square doesn't need to be protected. In fact, you don't even need the outside square. The bunker will stay closed without it, and you can place it only when needed. So it's completely soft side proof. And for my money, maybe the biggest restriction with the original version is that for much the same reason you can't place this foundation, you can't build a base around this. The foundations won't place. Well, you could do a multi-TC shell, I guess, but a regular footprint, not possible. With this method, however, everything can be placed, and it'll work just fine.
In fact, you can hide the bunker mechanism as deep inside the footprint as you like. And it all just works. So, big improvements overall. But how is it done? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's start with the same setup as before. Next add a triangle, a square, and 11 triangles going out. Then a square here. Remove all twiggies and back with squares. When you get here, add a triangle, but it has to be placed correctly. Take out your hammer, and do you see these glowy particles floating right to left? That's what you want. You can also tell it's good by the positioning of these stone textures. Perfect. Now, from the square, we repeat the step again. 11 triangles out. A square. Remove the excess. And back with squares. This last square, make sure to deliberately attach to the twig side. Now you add the two half walls as before, the triangle from this position specifically, the frame, and now remove the square and rebuild it. This is actually an important step, so don't forget it. Or you can leave it out, just make sure to destroy it at least once. And there you go. You can now build all around this, you're not missing any foundations, and the offset bunker is perfected. Now there could be issues I don't know about yet, which will be discovered with wider adoption. So keep an eye on the pinned comment. Now some important tips. While you're working on the base, keep the bunker open. Otherwise some tile might add stability to the triangle that goes here, locking the bunker shut. Likewise, don't build anything on this lot as you need it for the bunker opening roof. So build around it and keep it free. In fact, before using any complex build technique, I suggest to practice on Rusticated Creative, where you can also find all of my base designs. Well, my published ones anyway. Now I have a question for you. A riddle, if you will. Remember how we offset this square with triangles? The bunker wouldn't work without doing that. So how come you can now just remove and rebuild it without the offsetting process and it still works? first subscriber to guess it right in the comments gets these free skins. You can come to my Discord to claim them. So thank you very much for watching this. If you appreciate the content, leave a like, subscribe, and check out my channel for many more Rust building tricks. Hope to see you soon. But until then, goodbye for now, and blessed be.